Hi everyone, welcome to my video where today we're going to be talking about percent of change. If you need a video lesson on tax and discount, I have that in a separate video. Right now this one is just about percent of change, determining whether the what the percent is and whether it's an increase or a decrease. Follow along with me, ready? Percent of change is the ratio, ratio means a fraction or comparison of two numbers, of the change of an amount to the original expressed as a percent and it can be an increase or a decrease. So percent of change is us figuring out how much something increased or decreased, but we talk about it in a percent form. So I might say a value increased by 50%. I might say a value decreased by 30%. And I'm gonna show you how we actually calculate those values. The formula is actually really, really tiny. It's very quick. The formula for percent of change is simply the difference over the original. Now think about it. Difference just simply means to subtract. And I always tell my students just subtract as you naturally would, the higher number minus the lower number. It doesn't have to be the new or the original, subtracting in a certain order. Um, I don't teach my students that way. I just simply say, hey, take the two numbers that you're trying to compare maybe it's 100 and 150, and just calculate the difference. The difference from 100 to 150 is 50, and that would be my numerator. My denominator is whatever the original price was. So if my value went from 100 to 150, then my original was that 100. So it's the difference over the original. And then I convert that fraction to a decimal to a percent. I'm going to guide you through that. And then we just see what happens. If it went from 100 to 150, it's an increase. If the value went from 150 to 100, then it's simply a decrease. So I've got a bunch of practice problems we're going to be able to take a look at. If you feel like you want to try the problems out, feel free to pause this video and then press play and see how you did. Okay, problem one. The price of a shirt went from $12 to $16. So we just have to make sure we know which one's the original and what's the new. So if it went from $12 to $16, the original was 12, and the new price is that 16. Percent of change is simply the difference divided by the original. What's the difference between 12 and 16? 16 minus 12 is 4. Which one was the original price? The 12. That's it. Difference over original. Now, 4 over 12, if I divide those out, 4 divided by 12, gives me 0.3 repeating. And then to go from a decimal to a percent, we need to remember that we take the decimal and we move it two places to the right. And we fill it in. Now this is 0.3 repeating. So it's going to end up being 33.3 repeating percent. And I take a look, was the price an increase or a decrease? The price went up, so it's an increase. A 33.3 repeating percent increase. Let's look at the next one. $2.48 a gallon was $2.35 last week. Which was the original here? $2.48 or $2.35? It should be $2.35 because that was the original price from last week. The new price is that $2.48. So it's difference over original. I subtract these two numbers. What's the difference between these two numbers? Just 13 cents. $2.48 minus $2.35 is 13 cents always divided by the original. Grab your calculator, 2.013 divided by 2.35. This is approximately what we get. I went out to four places to change decimal to percent. I take that decimal, I move it two spots to the right, and my answer is about 5.5. You could tack on the three if you wanted to, about 5.5, and the price went up. So it's an increase, a 5.5% increase. That's it. That's how we do percent of change. Let's take a look at another two. $84 headphones were once $100. Which was the original price, the 84 or the 100? They were, they were 100. The new price is 84. So now we calculate the difference. The difference between 100 and 84, 100 minus 84 is 16 always divided by the original. Now this one's nice, when you divide by 100, 16 over 100 is 16 hundredths, so it's 0.16. Move the decimal two spots to the right, and that's our 16%. Now, was this an increase or a decrease? 
100 to 84, it's actually a decrease in price. The value went down. The price of jeans went from $40 to $36. $40 to $36. So 40 is the original, 36 is the new. What's the difference between these two numbers? Four. What's the original price? 40. Difference over original, that's it. Four over 40 is 1 tenth, which is 0.1 or 0.10. Move the decimal two spots to the right, and 0.10 is 10%. The price went down, so it is a decrease. That's how easy it is to do percent of change. There's nothing more to it. So now I have some additional practice problems here. I'm going to have the formula up. If you want to take a look at these four and then go ahead and try them out and then pause the, we'll pause the video and then press play and see how you did, you certainly can. Otherwise, I'm going to go right through these problems. Difference over the original. 15 divided by 45 is 0.3 repeating. The price increased. So it's a 33.3 .3 repeating percent increase. The difference between these two numbers is 5.2. Always divided by the original. 5.2 divided by 3.6 is 1.4 repeating. Now be careful here. If I move the decimal two spots to the right, 1, 2, then that actually becomes 144.4 repeating percent. And the price went up, so it's an increase. When something increases over 100%, it means it more than doubled. Look at this, 3.6. If I take 3.6 and I double it, I would get 7.2. 8.8 is more than 7.2. So it more than increased by 100%, 144% actually. 16 and 20, the difference is 4. Over the original 16, 4 sixteenths. I hope we know that fraction. It's 1 fourth, which is 0.25. 0.25 is 25%, and it was an increase, and we're good. Next one, difference of $1.25 and 50 cents is 75. Divide by the original, 1.25. That becomes 0.6. Move the decimal two spots to the right. So it's 60%, and the price went down. It's a decrease. Notice, I'm always, and I'm going to highlight, because I got this question in class sometimes, and I know what you might be thinking or what you might not be sure of. Oops. Notice that the original is always the denominator. 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 So you simply subtract these two numbers, that's your numerator, and your original, whatever the price originally was, is your denominator. I've got four more problems here. Again, feel free to pause and try the problems out on your own. Difference is 15 over my original is 60. 15 over 60 is 0.25. The price decreased, so it's a 25% decrease. Difference between these two numbers is 5.2 divided by the original of 8.8. Gives me this funky number, move the decimal two spots to the right, and I get about a 59.1%. Price went down, so it is a decrease. Difference between 20 and 16 is 4. The original is 20. 4 over 20, we should know, is 1 fifth. 1 fifth is 20%. And that is a 20% decrease. Value went down. Original, 50 cents to $1.25. The difference here is 75 cents. Over the original of 50 cents, 0 0.75 divided by 0.50 is 1.5, and again, this is one of those we just have to be aware of it. We're still always moving the decimal two spots over, so I'm gonna fill in a zero there, and that's 150%. The price went up, and it's an increase. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much.